Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and today we're getting back into the book of Ecclesiastes. We're going to go over chapter 3. Um, this one's all about, you know, there's a time for everything, and again, King Solomon is going through depression, so all is vanity and vexation of spirit. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share our content, uh, and let's get into it. To everything, there is a season and a time. To every purpose under the heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build so for everything there's a time and there's a season you know that's why you got to pay attention so you're not doing things out of season or out of course a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to embrace a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing so it's not always gonna be good it's not always gonna be happy you know through the stages of life things change a time to get and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to cast away a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. So if you're not aware, this is one of the go to scriptures whenever there's a funeral. It's what uh, pastors, ministers, bishops, deacons, it's what they always go to. Um, but yeah, uh, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. So you're not always going to be in love and you're not always going to be hating somebody. But there's a time for everything. And what profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen that travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. So again we know that King Solomon is what? He's still battling with depression because he's become so wise that... Uh, he, he really doesn't believe that he can get counsel from anyone and he thinks he has all of the secrets to the Most High. Then he says, He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he hath set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God, or Allah, or the Most High, maketh from the beginning to the end. So even he doesn't know all of the works. So that's why you got to be careful. With a lot of the wisdom, with a lot of the books being unlocked, make sure that you're rooted. Make sure you're praying for guidance and for understanding because this stuff can make you go crazy. Because you do not see the totality of everything. There's no way. You know, even though we were with the Most High, you know, in the spirit realm, you're not going to remember everything. You're still not going to know everything. I know that there is no good in them. But for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. So he's saying that the only good thing for man is to rejoice and do good. That's why he gave his himself to wine. And that's why he gave himself his strength to women. Because he saw this stuff. And he was just like, oh man, it's all about having fun. YOLO, you only live once. That's what happened. King Solomon was all about that YOLO life at this point in time. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. And that's true. It is the gift of God. But as we continue with this, you'll just continue seeing everything's vanity and vexation of spirit. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it that men should fear before him. So... All of his commandments, all of his works, all of his actions are forever. They don't change. He doesn't change. And again, like he says, it's so men would reverence or fear the Most High, honor him, guard or regard him. 
that which have been is now and that which is to be hath already been and God required that which is past because he's the same yesterday today and forever that's why there's no new thing under the sun and that's why there's a t for everything there's a time and there's a season because the most high he does things in circuits he does things in in uh, an order He's all, he has a pattern behind he has a method behind his madness as we used to say he had a he has a method behind his madness and moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment uh oh that wickedness was there in the place of righteousness that iniquity was there so he sees this right I said in mine heart God shall judge the righteous and the wicked for there's a time for every purpose and for every work because when we all die we all go to the same place either you, you you're resting peacefully in Abraham's bosom or you're already dealing with some type of torment right but I said in mine heart God shall judge the righteous and the wicked for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work so he, he judges both I said in mine heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that God might manifest them, uh, them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts so now we've been relegated to beasts even though we were given dominion over everything including beasts he's going to relegate us to the level of beasts now why why would he do that for that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts even one thing befalleth them, as the one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they all have one breath, so that a man have no preeminence above a beast, for all is vanity. But that's not true, because again, we have dominion. You know, we hunt them and they are our food or our prey. You know, we are able to plant vineyards and, you know, to build things. They don't do that. What do they do? They are nomads. They go and they hunt for for grass and for fruit and all these other things but they don't have the honor they don't have the authority they don't have the power that we have for all is vanity all is not vanity all is not emptiness everything's not in vain there's a purpose for everything because he just said for everything there's a time and there's a season so we just have to understand that and uh, realize when you're going through when you need mental health days uh, that's why you have to have wise counsel you have to have people that can kind of bring you back in sometimes they'll have to check you sometimes you should have brothers and sisters that you can tell what's going on and they can bring you back uh to who you are and where you're supposed to be get your mind back to where you're supposed to be because we always have to keep our what we always have to keep a sound mind and king solomon in all his wisdom he actually lost sight of his sound mind all going to one place all are of the dust and all turn to dust again which is true who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth the most high knows he knows that wherefore i perceive that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his own works for that is his portion for who shall bring him to see what shall be after him again he's worried about what the next generation is going to do with the works that he's created but notice again, he's not giving the Most High credit for giving him the strength or the wisdom or the, the, the wealth to perform these works. It's all about the, the works that you've created. I, 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 me, me, me. And that's one of the, the tendencies of Satanism. He got into some wicked stuff because he allowed his uh, wives and women to have him chasing every other God. So maybe he could have a different outcome. <laughs> we have to always keep our sound mind. Uh, we have to guard our heart with all diligence our mind with all diligence because it's just too valuable and it's not about everything that you do get that eye spirit out of you it's not about that um, there's nothing wrong with realizing that the most high used you to create some great things some blessings some stuff to help build the kingdom the, the stuff to help stop generational curses but even though you're the main character in your life you know, we always have to remember that we're side characters in the grand scheme of life, right? Through his son, right? Because he's the, the overall overarching main character. Uh, uh, I would agree that we are supposed to rejoice and 
be glad because we're always supposed to be what make a joyful noise unto the most high you know we're supposed to come to his courts with singing you know there's nothing wrong with that but realize and understand that these people um whose accounts that we read from this collection of books called the bible they were human they were not perfect they were not infallible and they also would go through things like depression the book of psalms you see when david was going through depression he got his family he got the kings trying to kill him depression and if you're not careful and if you give yourself to wine if you give your strength into women uh, that spirit, that ruach of depression will take hold on you and will overcome you. So don't be wise in your own conceits. So Father, we just thank you for your word, what you're doing forever. We just want to say thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for all of the works that you have allowed us uh, to create and for the things that we will create in the future uh, due to your wisdom, your strength, your honor, Father, your love and your compassion. Thank you for forgiving us, Father. Thank you for always being ready to save and for always being ready to forgive and for your hand being stretched out still. Thank you for you being good and for your mercy enduring forever. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for our businesses, places of employment. Thank you for life and life more abundantly. Uh, we just thank you this day, Father, that we are in the land of the living because all is not vanity and vexation of spirit, Father. <laughs> Because for everything there's a time and a season and for everything there is a purpose because your works, your ways, and your wills are forever so that we may fear you, so that we may reverence you, so that we may honor you, Father. And thank you for sending your beloved Son in whom you are well pleased to die for the sins of the world, Father, so that we can have a chance at eternal life. We do not take any of this for granted, Father. And we just thank you and we just praise your holy name, Father. All these things we do ask and pray in your Son's name. Amen. So again, this was the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. I am Yehuda. This is Yaz Assembly. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share our content. And as always, until next time, peace, family.